Yo, what is going on my friends? Today, back with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys two ways you can save your own custom color presets within Adobe Premiere Pro. One method is going to be saving it as a LUT, and one method is going to be saving it as a preset. So first things first, we're going to start off just by color grading this clip all within the Lumetri color panel. So this is directed more towards beginners who like to do all their color grading throughout the Lumetri color panel. If you guys haven't already, check out my color grading video where I talk about how to color grade using this, as well as using actual LUTs, which you can download and import into Premiere. Even if you you are an intermediate or advanced user this is still a very good tip to know and this is still something that I recommend that you guys learn because it can come in handy in the future whenever you're doing your color sessions so let's first starting off just by doing some basic color grading on this rock clip right here so what we're going to do is we're going to start in with the basic correction and we might just bump the exposure up a tiny bit um, I'm gonna do most of this in the actual curves right here because this is what I like to use the best um, so for this what we're going to do is we're actually going to raise this up just to give it the kind of that like vintage kind of feel where we're washing out the black so if you raise the bottom of that line you'll see that the um, the dark in this image is just gonna get washed out a lot and that's how you really get that kind of like vintage type color grade um, you can even bump up the highlights just like this um, if you even want to you can even give it kind of like this s curve for this nice like cinematic feel so I just went through I did all my color grading like I said if you want to go more in depth with that check out my color grading tutorial I talk about how to do it all with the elementary color panel as well as if you would like to learn about let's how to do that so once we've done this, you can see here's the before and here's the after of what we just did with just that little, with just the Lumetri color panel. You can turn it on and off in the effect controls right here if you want to see the before and after. So this is what we're going to do to be able to do this. So say you already did your adjustments through your Lumetri color. You don't want to do it through the cube route or through the LUT route because you don't want to go through all those folders or any of that. You just want to, you just want something you can drag and drop onto your footage. You just want something you can drag and drop onto your footage. This is probably the best method for you. All you have to do, come up here to your effect controls, wherever it says Lumetri color right click on that you're gonna click save preset and then you can just name that whatever you like so I'm gonna name this one deep red color LUTs and now all you have to do is come down here to your effect library and just search up the name of that so here it is deep red color preset now you can just drag and drop that onto your footage whenever you want so that's probably a faster way to do it this is better if you don't want to save this as a Q file you don't want to export this anywhere you just want something you can drag and drop quickly that you can apply to any of your clips okay so now I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own LUT so what a LUT is, it's actually a color lookup table, meaning it's basically like a little preset which you can have within Premiere. If you come over to the creative, you can open it up through here in the look. Here's some preset ones that come with Premiere, but if you click browse, you can find some that you actually made. So let's go through and do that right now. So what we're going to do is come up here to your Lumetri color panel, wherever it is on your setup. Everyone's workspace is going to be different. Just make sure you're in color and then make sure you find wherever your Lumetri color panel is. You'll see these three little lines right here that actually kind of highlight whenever you hover over it. So right click on that and we're going to click export.cube. And what we're going to do is we're just going to save this on our desktop and I'm going to name this something like deep red. You can name it whatever you would like. So this is actually going to create that .cube LUT file. So what you can do is export this, put it on your website, put it available to download you can even make your own LUT packs doing this method it's different from the method that I do using Lightroom um, but this is definitely a viable method to actually create LUTs and to be able to work on making your own LUT packs if you are interested in that so I'm just gonna save this into the desktop and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to open up a file explorer I'm gonna go to my desktop and I'm going to look up so I looked up deep red and here it is right here deep red dot cube I'm going to click on that I'm gonna click Control X or Control C to either cut or copy this file and then I'm just going to go and find my file folder where all of my LUTs are located for Premiere. So the way to do this is just click on my PC. You're going to find your hard drive. So this C hard drive right here. We're going to go to program files. We're going to go to Adobe. We're going to go to Premiere Pro, Lumetri, LUTs and then creative. So if I went a little bit too fast for you, just rewind the video, just go step by step with me. Um, and then once you get the hang of this, you'll be able to navigate to this folder like it's nothing. So this is where all your preset LUTs and LUTs that you download are gonna be pasted. So I'm just gonna right click in this and I'm gonna click paste for the thing that we had, click continue. You're gonna see a paste in here, so deepred.cube. And now if we come back into Premiere, I'll actually turn off the Lumetri color we did. If you come up here to the creative tab, you click on look, you click on look and then you go to browse then you can just go find the exact same place so hard drive program files adobe premiere pro lumetri luts creative and then just go find wherever you save that deepred.cube right here open that up and there you go you have it ready to use 
Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this quick little tip was helpful for you guys. If you would like to see more like this or any of my other videos, make sure you go and click that subscribe button down below. Please leave a like on this video. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. I hope you guys have a nice night, and I'll see you guys later.